What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another statue review on three different statues. We are looking at the DC Collectibles, DC Artist Alley, Joe Ledbetter, the Penguin, Batman variant, and then we have Catwoman right over here. If you're trying to pick these up, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And a big thanks to DC Collectibles for making this review possible and sending these pieces my way. If you want to see the latest from DC Collectibles, check the link in the description below. Now the Batman is the glow-in-the-dark version. This is a DC Universe exclusive right over here, and then we get Penguin and Catwoman right over there. On the side of the packaging for these two, you can see the other characters there's the Batman, there's Robin, and on the back, there's these read-ups. If you want to read them, go ahead and pause it right now. And then on the packaging for the glow-in-the-dark Batman, there's no text or anything going on around over here. And not much at the bottom of any of the packaging. And I did want to mention that we have some nice artwork right here on the side of these. That looks really cool. And then you can see the artwork right there on the top of each of them. So that's pretty sweet. And these are held together via magnet, so you can see the statue inside right there. And then there's a statue inside right there. So let's get to it and crack these things open. And here's all three statues out of the packaging and I gotta say at first I was a little skeptical on how much I thought I would like these uh, but to be honest with you I think they're actually pretty fun especially just after seeing Batman vs TMNT and seeing anthropomorphic versions of Batman villains in that movie and then seeing these right here is actually pretty cool man if you want to see my Stardust review on Batman vs TMNT link in the description below but anyway each of these come with their own individual prints so let's take a closer look at those and then we'll take a closer look at the statues so each of these come with their own print which the statues are based off of and I think that's pretty cool of course mine is a variant so it doesn't look exactly like this and there's nothing on the back over here and they come in plastic and I'm not removing the ones for the penguin or the catwoman but you can see how they're attached to the packaging right over here you just want to tear this plastic and then you're gonna take it out and then same thing with the catwoman right over here so, so far the statues are very much looking like their artistic representations now the only statue out of these three that requires any assembly is the penguin and you just have to attach the umbrella right over here which looks pretty cool I do like this little green smoky effect right Right there and then you get you know a couple colors of blue right there for the umbrella so it looks pretty good I like it the paint apps look very clean and you just want to play match the shape kind of looks like a Superman logo and just gonna go ahead and pour it inside the hand right there and that works out I think these actually look really nice man I like the clean paint apps that we're seeing throughout over here this looks really cool I like the little teeth that he has right there the little sharp pointy teeth the sharp pointy beak and everything yes yeah, the hair coming back right there his little cigarette Looking really cool. And coming up top, looking at his top hat, you know, nice clean gray paint with the black. And he's got a dead fish or fish bone right there. Uh, that's his lunch. And then you can see his hand right up here. Nice clean black paint. So yeah, these look pretty solid. And it's a hefty statue, by the way. There's definitely some weight going on right over here, so I like that. I like the little wrinkles right over here around the buttons. Like the things about to pop off. And then looking at the feet right there, look pretty good. He's got the fancy shoes going on. Looks like you could see some stitching right there in the shoes, so I like that. And then he's kind of up in the air, uh, sitting on the coat, which looks great, you know. Nice fluffy coat. And then you get the buttons right there on the back. Nice wrinkles, and it says J Led right there for Joe Ledbetter. And then you can see it, you know, you get your little set. This is a product sample, so it just says AP08 out of 3,000. But there's 3,000 copies available out there for retail. And then here's looking at Catwoman, which I like so much more than I thought I was. I don't know, I just thought the idea was really silly, but seeing it right here, and just looking at these two toned colors, you know, just throughout looks really cool, you know, having that purple over black. I really like that a lot. I like the fingernail right here, the claw, very pointy, and she has her teeth. Right over here, nice and sharp. Nice clean white paint apps right over there. Yeah, man, I'm liking the ears right here. They kind of went with the animated series design. You could tell with the belt and everything. I like that, those little lines right there of purple. And then she has this nice pearlescent shiny diamond right over here. You can't see it in the back. Uh, you do get, you know, your numbering. And then there's a Joe Ledbetter, the J Led right there at the very bottom. Nice looking claws right there for the feet, and like I said again, like the belt very much reminds me of animated series Catwoman and everything. Love how the paws look. There's the back of the head. Very clean looking piece. And lastly, we have the Batman, and this looks awesome. I really dig this one a lot. This is the one I was looking forward to the most, probably because Batman's my second favorite superhero, but yeah, I love the fangs right over here. These are awesome, nice and pointy, nice green paint. And I'm gonna show off how this looks in the dark soon, even though it's in the middle of the day right now. We get these wrinkles right here, and the fluffy fur for the Batman throughout. If I darken things up, you can see it maybe a little better, but yeah, you can see it kind of looks like scales a little bit. Nice feet right there. I'm liking that. 
That's looking really cool, and I love these wings, man. Beautiful wingspan right here on the Batman statue. Then looking on the back, eh, not a whole lot going on, except for, you know, the numbering right there, and then you get the J-Led signature on there. So yeah, man, pretty cool. Yeah, again, I'm really liking those feet. His feet are all up in the air. He's flying. It's pretty cool. I may have this hanging from somewhere. I'm not sure yet. Okay, so it's not completely dark here in the garage, but I did shut off all my lights, and you can see it glowing a little bit, right? So I think that's pretty cool. You know, it does work pretty well. If it was in the middle of the night, I'm sure I could get a better shot of this, but you could still tell that it's glowing a bit, right? I think that's pretty neat. I like it. Now we have Batman already out here measuring the wingspan. You can see it's at about 11 inches across and I'm seeing the statue standing at about six and a half inches tall. And then measuring out the Catwoman and Penguin, you can see Catwoman is standing at about seven inches as well as the Penguin. Then to compare the DC Artist Alley Joe Ledbetter statues next to my other DC Artist Alley statues, uh, we have the show Modase, Poison Ivy, and Batgirl, and then we have the Nooligan Harley Quinn. And then here's the three statues next to your average six inch scale figure, we have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So again, these are pretty cool looking statues, man. The concept threw me off a little bit. I didn't like the concept right away, but then after seeing them out of packaging, I was like, oh, these actually look cool, man. And it took a while for me to decide which one's my favorite out of these three, and I'm going with the Catwoman. I like the Batman a lot too, so yeah, the Batman by default is my favorite, but I was most impressed by the Catwoman statue. I don't know why, I just really dig it a lot, man. Now, I'm curious to know what you guys think, but anyway, at the price point of around 55 to 60 bucks, I'm giving these a sud rating of it's not so bad. And that is 55 to 60 for each of these. You know, they're not cheap at all, and they are limited to only 3,000 each. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments section below. Hit the like button if you like the video. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you have not already. And a big thank you to all these people over here that support this YouTube channel over on Patreon. Your guys' support is very much appreciated. If you want to see the latest in action figure news, you can find it all over at toynewseye.com. And don't forget to follow me over on the social media on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch and Stardust, as I mentioned earlier, I do have that review of Batman vs. the TMNT over there on Stardust. So please check it out, and I will catch you guys later. Peace! Figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.